Hey guys and welcome back for another Christmas tutorial. This is the fifth day in the 12 days of Christmas tutorial. So if you're not already following along, then I would definitely check back on the last four days and subscribe to the channel so that you can watch the future tutorials. So today we will be making this beautiful fur trimmed pillow with a reindeer applique on the front. And all the information you need and the materials will be at the blog post, link below as well as the information icon. So you can go over there and you can download the PDF pattern for the reindeer if you choose to do the reindeer and then get the measurements for your fabric. I will be making a pillow cover. So if you wanted to make it a pillow itself, you could totally do that. But if you want to make the cover, then you can just follow my exact instructions. So I will be using some canvas fabric, but you could make it with cotton fabric. I'm using some fur. I just grabbed a piece of fur and then I just cut it into um, three and a half inch strips. I'm using a flannel fabric for the applique. So if you are using my reindeer pattern, then you can go ahead and cut that out. I'm going to be using a heat and bond um, adhesive backing something. I will have the exact link for the product that I use. I didn't have the package anymore, so that's why I couldn't show it to you guys. But like I said, you can check out the blog exactly what I used. I'll be taking a piece of fabric that is a little bit larger than the template itself. I am going to flip it so that the wrong side is facing up. And then I'm going to take my heat and bond and with the, um, the glue side down. You'll know the difference because the one side is a little bit rough and the other side is like paper. So it's like parchment paper or something. So you're just going to put those two together and then with a hot dry iron, you're going to fuse the two pieces together. And the great thing about this is if you didn't want to use a pattern, you could easily just take a marker or a pen and just create your own design right onto the paper. But I'm going to take my template and I'm going to trace it out onto the heat and bond. And then after I can cut it out. So if you didn't want to use heat and bond, you could of course just cut out a piece of fabric and then even use some spray glue or you could just, you know, very carefully pin it onto your fabric and then sew around it. But I find that this really gives you a nice clean cut edge and it comes out perfect every time. So I'm just going to finish cutting it out and then we will figure out how we want it on our um, pillow front. So I don't think I centered it perfectly just because I think I centered the body perfectly and the antlers are up a little bit. So you're just gonna find the center of your fabric and sorry, the fabric is almost the same color as my table, but it is there. So we're gonna peel it off and then we will place it right onto our fabric. The good thing about the heat and bond is it's not um, it's not super sticky right now, so you can of course move it around and if you have multiple pieces or whatever You can just you know make sure it's in a nice good place before you go ahead and secure it down fully with your hot dry iron So we'll just do that. I think it's like, you know 30 seconds in every spot or whatever and This is good like you can leave it like this. I don't know how long this would last um, especially if you throw it in the wash and stuff so for just my own, just in case, I do like to do a zigzag stitch around the whole entire perimeter of my image. Um, and it also adds a little bit of texture to your pillow. So I'm just gonna go all the way around it um, using a small zigzag. And I try to stay like right on the edge, but on the inside so that it, it looks kind of messy if I got the stitches on the white fabric. Okay, so now we're going to work on the back piece, the pocket piece. We're going to take the two pieces of fabric and we are going to fold them down about an inch. That's going to be our hem. So where the pocket portion is, we're going to hem that nicely. I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch over top of the seam there. Um, if you wanted to double fold it and then do a straight stitch, you can do that. But I just find that, especially the fabric that I'm using, it will add a little bit more bulk. So I'm just doing the zigzag either way. So to me, it doesn't really matter. And then I am going to place the two pieces on the back so that they fit perfectly on the back of the front piece. But then the two seams or the two hems are going to overlap. And then that is where you would open it up and then stick your pillow form into. 
So I'm just going to pin it all, all around it. Um, we want to make sure this is good and pinned because we will be inserting the trim around it. So this fabric will, you know, it will tend to shift and stuff while we are doing the fur trim. And I did cut uh, fur pieces about three and a half inches. So depending on your trim, if you are using fur, if you're using something else, you know, it's all up to you how much fur you want to be visible basically. So I'm just going to take the fur and I'm going to fold it um, with the wrong sides together and then I will place it on the inside of the um, pillow fabric or the sham fabric and then I will just line up the raw edges of the fur with the raw edges of the pillow and then we will clip it together because it is very thick I will be using clips if you don't have any clips then you can always go raid your office desk and use some binder clips those are very helpful also and if you want to do it all at once get it all away around your pillow um, and you're ready to go you can do that or like me I like to complicate things and I just I get it started and then I will just sew and place sew and place <laughs> So I do want to tuck in the fur because I want as much fur as possible on the pillowcase. So um, if not, then it gets a little messy, especially on the inside of the pillow. But um, if you have some good fur, then that shouldn't be a problem for you to be able to just, you know, pat it down just like you're petting a cat. <laughs> and I just do like four or five inches at a time, um, taking my time. It is a little bulky, but my, my machine had no problem going through all these layers. It just, it, it's bulky, but it's not like really thick fabric. So the needle didn't have any problems. So I just went all the way around until I got back to the beginning. I didn't obviously do it all the way because I wanted to measure the fabric out. So I laid the one side down and then lay the other side down overlapping them and then I will give it like a little seam allowance and then I will cut it and then I'm just going to basically attach the fur so that it's one continuous loop I will sew that seam and this seam won't show up once you uh, once the pillow is done you won't even notice this seam and then I just tuck that in and it should fit perfectly and then I'll just pin, pin it into place and then I'll just sew over top of it and because I'm not making a pillow and I'm just making a pillow sham I can sew all the way around it and then you know when I want to turn it right side out I'll just do that from the pocket in the back so if some fur did get through you know you can always just clip it off it's no big deal I did round my corners so I didn't do a it's very difficult when you have a lot of bulk to do a straight corner so I rounded them which I think looks better anyways and then I just made my own pillow form I actually go and get the blue whale pillows and then I use the fabric from the pillow and then of course the stuffing which is a lot of stuffing but I don't use it all and then just make one exactly to fit and then that's it so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all of the 12 days of Christmas tutorials and there will be a playlist linked below and in the information icon so if you are coming late in the game you can check all of them out so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys